Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today I've got a fun little project for you. Um, we're going to be making these faux wax seals out of um, just hot glue and some pressed flowers. And we're going to go ahead and maybe use some papers as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So I um, bought this silicone mold. I'll put a link to it down below. It's for making like chocolates and things, but I found you can also use it to make um, these faux wax seals. And I also have these dried flowers. I collect these in the spring or the summer, and then um, I'll put them inside of a book to press them for a couple weeks to kind of dry them out and flatten them. And I use a really big, heavy book. This one's actually called Miss Manners Guide to Excruciatingly Correct Behavior. <laughs> so that's where I keep my pressed flowers. And um, I also printed out just a couple kits from my shop. This is, oh, you can hear Toby barking back there. This is our um, watercolor wildflowers papers. And then these are our um, book page journal pages. So I'm gonna use these as backgrounds for some of our seals. And I've got this one and a half inch circle punch. I'm gonna go ahead and use that for some of these. And just kind of pick a spot to punch. And I'm gonna set that inside my mold. And I think I'll pick one of these pretty watercolors too. I've got my hot glue gun all heated up and ready to go. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on top of here. And oh, before I do that, I should probably mention, I've got this um, uh, seal press, this hot wax seal, and it's going to go right here when we put our glue in. And this one has a design on it, but I ordered one that's blank so that we won't have to have a design if we don't want one. apply a little pressure here. There we go. There we are. And what I'm going to do is just set my flower on top of there. Let's see which one do I want. Maybe this one. Let's see if it'll fit. And then I'm going to take my seal and just press down. And what I want to do is leave it there and not move not touch it for a little bit and just let that hot wax kind of set up. And I actually have this uh, ice pack from the freezer <laughs> and it's nice and cold and hard. And when this sets up a little bit, I'm going to set that on top of the ice pack just to cool it even more before I actually take the seal out because I don't want to ruin the design. If the wax is still melty, it might not stay. And it makes it easier to remove from the mold if it's cool. So, if I can get in the frame here. And this will help just cool, cool this off underneath. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set this directly on there to cool it off even more. And we don't want water in our stuff, so I'm gonna wipe that away, but See how it turned out. Got a little piece poking out over here, but there you go. You have kind of a cute little faux wax seal that you can use in your um, junk journaling pages. So, if you got like a junk journal page and you want to add it as a little embellishment or something, it's kind of cute. All right, let's go ahead and make another one. So we got our paper in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and squirt our wax in. And I'm just kind of guessing how much wax would I need, or you know, hot glue, it's not actually wax. Okay, 
I think I'll use this little purple guy. This is a pansy. And if you want, you could put just a little squirt of wax over the top. I haven't done this yet, but let's see how this works. Okay, my glue gun doesn't want to switch to the next stick. And again, just let it cool for a second before you bring in the ice pack. And if you don't want to use an ice pack for this, you could probably just let it sit and cool for a while as well. It's still a little tacky. Go. All right, and you can see it's got a cute little faux wax seal look to it. So yeah, kind of a fun little project to create embellishments or faux seals for your journal. All right, that was quick and easy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.